And I like a man who knows a thing or two. I go to a little Turkish barber near where I live, up in Camden Town, and he knows a thing or two. This city is full of people who've got those unique skills, and George is certainly one of them. If you want a man who understands a revere, um, or any of the kind of you know the details that you can go into, understands that I like my suits understated, not overstated. George is your man. But also he's your man if you want to wander down the Woolworth Road. I don't often want to wander down the Woolworth <laughs> Unless, of course, George is the end product, in which case I'm eager to do so. I wander down the Woolworth Road, I nip into that funny little shop of George's on the left-hand side there. I assume I'm going to get mugged as I walk back. <laughs> <laughs> that happened in the shop. <laughs> Taylor, because Taylor has long been one of my favourite subjects. George and I can spend many a moon discussing the finer details. And one of the proudest moments, genuinely one of the proudest moments in my life recently, was I got my son Alfie, is 16, and he went and got his first bit of schmutter, mate. Nice. And I took him to George, and George looked after him, which is what a man should do to a 16 year old boy. And he mentored him, and tutored him, and talked him through the process. And it was so fantastic. And it felt like a battle had been passed on. That George is a good man. Yeah. <laughs> George is a very good man. And he's a very good tailor. And he is the thread needle man. And he is the subject of the painting which I haven't seen yet. And I suspect most of us haven't. That we are about to unveil now. So if I could do a drum roll, I would do it. So ladies, please. singing my praises. Uh, thank God for Robert. <laughs> <laughs> um, listen, enjoy the evening everyone. Thank you for recognising uh, its great work and thank you once again.